Hi, thanks for joining me today. Are you in a situation where you're thinking, should I stay or should I go in this relationship? I post once a week, so subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll let you know every time I post. When I see couples in therapy, there are many a time when I think, my goodness, this couple should split up, but they don't. And so many times I think, well, there's no reason why this couple should split up, and they do. Couples split up for all sorts of reasons, and some of the reasons sometimes aren't very much to an outsider's perspective. Likewise, with couples who seem to be so incompatible that the struggle is immense, and for outsiders it seems almost not worth it, they stay together. So it's not for me now to say whether or not you should stay or whether you should go. My points are this though, that often in st step families, step parents don't know what they're getting into. I've heard that so many times and so will you. And the reason for that is that when you go out with somebody, you see them out and about. But it's only when you enter the family and enter a commitment and even a little bit beyond that, because even that can have a honeymoon period. But when you get into living with your partner in the context that they have come from before, then things can become not as you thought they were at the beginning. Because at the beginning, for example, you could have seemed that you were number one in that person's life. But when you go into the context of them and their family, you might find that you're number two at very best, coming after his, his or her priorities with their children. Or maybe the setup is so entrenched in a way that you find almost unacceptable. The, maybe uh, their parenting style is something that you can't tolerate. And if you were the parent of the children as well, you'd have more influence, authority, responsibility, and power with regard to those children. But as the step parent, you don't necessarily have any of those and only have it through the gift of the parent anyway. So often parenting style can be a real issue, a real issue, and really impacts the way you're living your life. So should you stay or should you go? Well, one of the answers to that should be that one should negotiate how things are going to be with you and your partner in a life if you commit to each other going forward from now. But often it's very difficult, if not impossible, to negotiate that when you don't know what you're getting into. So often step parents find themselves in a situation where they're having to negotiate it, having made a commitment, made a commitment to move in, to live with the person, to share a house, to share their lives, and then suddenly find that for a whole host of reasons, it's not very satisfactory for you. And if you'd understood this situation before you'd moved in, you wouldn't have moved in. So you're often in a finding yourself in a situation where you need to negotiate from a compromised situation, i.e. you've given up a house over here or where you used to live or your tenancy, moved in, made a commitment, there's a financial commitment, and you can't then easily 
say what need what you want to happen on an equal footing. So it's almost impossible to negotiate once you've made the commitment and it's almost impossible to negotiate before you've made the commitment because you don't know what you're getting yourself in for. So it's a very difficult situation you can find yourself in. And whether you should stay or whether you should go probably depends on your partner's ability to see your perspective, to accommodate you, to be flexible enough, to entertain change, and you being able to negotiate yourself with your partner out of something that you thought you weren't getting into. But often the partner can be quite rigid, which is why it's a problem in the first place. But if, for example, it's really cramping your lifestyle, if it's making you ill, if um, it's costing you more, much more money than you thought it was going to, and you're going to get into financial difficulties um, because of it, if the situation becomes worse and it's not getting any better, then I would seriously consider it's time to go. You don't want to let yourself get yourself into such a bad way mentally, with your health, with your finances, feeling low, um, being difficult to live the life that you thought you were going to live. If problems come up and that they are unsolvable because you can't work with your partner on them, then that leaves you in a position wondering whether it's worth staying. And that's a judgment call only you can make. There is a halfway house which can work very well, um, but often depends on you negotiating this before the situation gets too bad and the only way is out. And that is by living apart together and you actually move out of the home and continue to see your partner in a relationship, but not cohabiting with either of your sets of children or one set of children or another. That's a very practical alternative that lots of people are using and it does work. And then whether you should stay probably depends on things like the age of the children. And when children are in their teenage years, they're around you all the time. But when they're in their 20s, they're not so much. And in their 30s, even less so. Where are you on that scale? Is there stuff in the future that you and your partner can move on to? I mean, is there retirement coming up soon? Is there um, a plan to move house? All of these things then enable you to use the change to make things better for yourself. And I've talked about that in other sessions. And using change in life to change things for the better for you in your step family is a great way of moving forward as a step parent. So if there's opportunities coming up and you're actually looking at only having to put up with this situation for shorter periods of time and it might be manageable, then there are other ways that you can cope with that. And it can really work. Couples can go through really difficult times with their stepchildren and children, and then it can get a lot better, and it can really, really be worth staying together. You can be stronger together. Love only comes along once in a while. You've got something precious if you've got love. So it is worth hanging on to if you can. And riding the difficult times 
to get to the better times. And better times can and do come for many, many couples. So, should you stay or should you go? Well, that depends very much on whether or not the situation is unmanageable and is making you ill and worse and less able as a result, or whether or not it's something that you can use other strategies to manage. I think in a step family, it's about whether or not you can negotiate a life that's acceptable for you inside your step family, that there's enough flexibility, there's enough compromise. If you can negotiate that, then staying is a good option. But also to acknowledge that lots of people go into a step family not knowing what they were getting into. We run workshops, sessions, an email response service, and we write booklets. Do look at the description box below for links to our social media and website. <laughs>